gynecologist. The name itself rings a big bell of discomfort, especially in the younger girls. Because whenever you type this word in Google, the image that pops up is a woman spreading her legs in a strange looking bed or a chair or a scary looking instrument or some scary, equally scary photograph. But let me assure you one thing, a visit to a gynecologist does not necessarily always mean that you will need to have an awkward examination. A, a lot of times it is just a conversation, a discussion or maybe an examination of the tummy is all that we need. And it is not only pregnancy that you need to see your gynecologist for. Today, I, Dr. Sudesh Nare, I'm going to take you through 10 signs that you need to see your gynecologist for, especially at a younger age group. But first, let me tell you who is a gynecologist. Well, a gynecologist is a specialist of the female reproductive system. So something to do with your vulva or the external genitalia or vagina, which is the internal passage or something to do with your womb, with your ovaries or something to do with your periods. You must also have come across the word called obstetrician. Who is an obstetrician? An obstetrician is a pregnancy specialist or one who takes care of pregnancy, maternity and childbirth. Usually a gynecologist is always an obstetrician and an obstetrician is always a gynecologist because they always go hand in hand. And what would be a good age to see a gynecologist? Ideally, there should be at least one preliminary visit to a gynecologist between 14 to 17 years of age for every girl. This is not only because you want to have a solution of your problems. This is just to have a general awareness of your reproductive system, of how it works and how to take care of it. So apart from pregnancy, what are the important signs that you need to see your gynecologist at, as a teenager or as a young adult? One, a smelly private part. A normal discharge with a little smell at the end of the day is okay but if you have a very strong pungent odor or a foul smell or some kind of a fishy smell or dirty smell or even if it smells like urine every time you remove your panties it might be an indication of a vaginal infection this is especially true if you are sexually active number two an abnormal discharge from the vagina. Now what is an abnormal discharge? Let me tell you the normal pattern first. Usually two to three days after your period stops, there is no discharge. And then there is a little mild discharge which starts like forming a lump or a clump in your undergarments. Slowly towards the mid-cycle that, that discharge becomes a little watery, becomes a little stretchy and runny like an egg white. This is the time of your ovulation. Later on, again, it reduces in amount and like stays there as a normal white discharge, a very mild discharge till you have your next periods. This is a normal pattern of vaginal discharge. Any discharge which is not following this pattern should be considered as an abnormal discharge and should be evaluated by a gynecologist. Number three, itchiness or burning in your private parts or discomfort while passing urine or after passing urine. This can be an indication of a fungal infection, of a vaginal infection or a urinary tract infection or even a sexually transmitted infection. Number four, persistence of irregular periods even after three to four years of the start of the periods. Normally when you start the periods, there can be an irregularity which can exist for about three to four years because it takes that amount of time to get established to a normal regular pattern. But if the irregularity goes beyond this time, then it might indicate a hormonal imbalance which needs to be seen by a gynecologist. Number five, if irregular periods are associated with other symptoms such as a stubborn acne, hairy face, obesity, lot of hair fall. This can be an indication of an early hormonal imbalance even if it happens 
below the age of 15 years. It can indicate a early hormonal imbalance that needs to be diagnosed properly and managed accordingly. Number six, period pains which is incapacitating. Period pains are usually normal in about 60% of the adolescents and young girls. But if the pain starts way about two to three days before you actually start your periods, if the pain lasts throughout the periods or sometimes go beyond the periods, if the pain is severe, sometimes needing injectable painkillers or is incapacitating and restricting the girl from their usual activities or usual school or usual work, then this might be an indication of a more worrying cause, something called an endometriosis, something uh, called a reproductive tract abnormality. So it has to be evaluated by a gynecologist. Number seven, if your PMS is out of control, similarly as the period pain, if it is disruptive, if it is really affecting your routine activities, your relationships, then you need an expert guidance on it. Number eight, if you have skipped your periods and you have had sex after your last normal periods, even with precautions, you can still be pregnant. This is especially true for women who have irregular periods. Often they think that the skip is because of the irregular pattern, but they land up with us with a pregnancy which is beyond three months. Number nine, if you are unable to have penetrative sex or penetrative sex is too painful, this can be an indication of a vaginal muscle spasm or an infection or uh, it can be an indication of a short vagina or a blocked vagina or sometimes even a condition called endometriosis. Number 10, if you are lately feeling heavy in your lower tummy or you think that your tummy is swelling up or there is a constant nagging pain along with a little heaviness in the tummy. This can be an indication of an ovarian cyst or a fibroid. Now these conditions are not too frequently seen in young girls. But if you feel these symptoms, it's a good idea to see your gynecologist. Apart from all these symptoms, as I said before, it is good to see a gynecologist just for a general awareness, just for a general chat about your reproductive health. After all, we are not scary people. So please don't hesitate to communicate with us and to contact us and get examined if the need arises. Thank you. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any videos by us.